Hi, I'm Mike McLean. I'm here in behind the scenes at Coffin Comics HQ, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about comic book writing. Um, first of all, who is this guy? Well, I am the co-writer of all the Coffin Comics properties, including Lady Death, La Muerta, Zack the Zombie Exterminator, and coming October 17th to Kickstarter, Hell Witch. So I have the um, great honor to write all those properties with the infamous Brian Polito, as many of you already know. Um, today, like I said, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about comic book writing and a little bit about my experience. Um, I came to comic book writing first from a uh, screenwriting background. So I thought the transition from screenwriting to comic books would be very easy. They're both visual mediums, um, pictures and images, seems like a pretty easy fit. I was pretty wrong. Um, it was a huge, huge leap from screenwriting to comic books. I thought it'd be a breeze, it was not. Um, the biggest thing in comic books, and I was a comic book reader my entire life, and there's little things you don't realize, but the biggest thing is the economy of the images. Okay, let me give you an example of what, I, what I'm talking about. If I wanted to, in a movie, I could write for a person to enter the room, enter a room, like a restaurant, look around the bar, see a woman at the bar, walk over to a pitcher on a table, grab a flower, give it to the woman, and order a beer. Now, in a, screen, a screenplay, I could probably do that all on a few lines, maybe even three lines less than that if I'm super economical. But imagine how many panels you would have to take to tell that same story, okay? So in a movie, that three lines, you could probably do it in less than 10 seconds. You can show the guy walk in, grab a flower, give it to the woman, 10 seconds, okay? I know this sounds super kind of geeky, 10 seconds, a movie is two hours long, right? If you break that down, that's 7,200 seconds. 10 seconds in a movie is, is a little more than one-tenth of a percent. So 10 seconds isn't even a percent of, of, of a movie. It's one-tenth it's, it's one of a percent, not even half a percent. But if you did that same thing in a comic book, it would probably take an entire page to show all those images, okay? So an entire page to show all that movement. A page out of a 22 page comic book is about four or five percent of the whole book. So you're using four or five percent of your whole book to just show a guy walk into a bar and hand somebody a flower and order a beer. Okay, can't do it, can't do it. I don't want to read that comic. I, don't, I, I know the comic coffin fiends don't want to read that comic. So what does that mean? So if you're a writer of comic books, you have to be super economical. And I think this is really helpful for screenwriters too. In a screenplay, every image is important, every line of dialogue is important, sure. Comic book, it's super important, okay? Because I don't have that many pages to tell the story. Every image I have to put a lot of thought and detail as to what that image does for the book. Does it illuminate the character? Does it move along the plot? Okay, if it doesn't do one of those things, illuminate who the character is, move the plot along, if it's not badass, that's, that panel's gotta go. Because I can't have some spend a whole page, you know, having a guy walk into a bar. And I've seen it in comics, and those are usually the comics I don't pick up again. So, um, basically, my, my point here is super economical. Whenever you write a comic book, every panel, a lot of thought into each panel, a lot of thought into each image. Every panel has its own emotional content and every line of dialogue. Also, you have to be super economical um, with every word you use because you just don't have that much room. All right, so this was Mike McLean from Coffin Comics. Thanks for, thanks for watching.